eleventh, uh, which we will discuss in this, we will discuss about the uh, election of the vice president. Means actually, who elects the vice president? That is the main thing we need to discuss. Okay, see, the president, vice president, is elected by elected by a group of people. Okay, group of people, not a common people, not a common people. That is ordinary citizens. okay ordinary citizens these are not participate or these are not elect the vice president there are group of peoples they actually elect the vice president and this group of people called electoral college this group is called as a electoral college and this actually this electoral college actually elects the vice president okay that's why we called this as a indirect election then what is direct election see the the ordinary people means common people common citizens they elect the mps mlas directly by going to the mlas by going to the polling booths by casting their vote this is the direct election here these these common citizens are not going to polling booths to elect the vice president they are so that this is called indirect elections why this is indirect election because this group of people who are the, who, what this group consists actually mps okay mps these mps are elected by the pe- common people and these mps in turn elect the vice president so this is called the, uh, that is why we call this as a indirect election means the people indirectly electing the vice president through their representatives who are the representatives here mps are the representatives that's why the indirect election and electoral college me electoral college means group of people who are the group of people here the mps who are the mps Lok Sabha MPs and Rajya Sabha MPs. It means I conclude this year that the MPs of Lok Sabha and the MPs of Rajya Sabha constitutes electoral college, constitutes electoral college of the vice president, electoral college of the vice president, and this electoral college that is MPs of Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha are electing the vice president. Okay. because of this these because of these this election is called a indirect election okay i hope it is clear now see then what is the type of election i hope it is clear that the vice presidential election is the indirect election because of the because vice president is elected by the electoral college what electoral college consist mps of lok sabha and mps of rajya sabha okay then see what is the type of election there are two type of election okay there are two types of election that is proportional representation another one is the first past the post system first past the post system okay see this is a very simple type of election that is in this type of election who wins actually who wins the election who have whoever who have got highest number of highest number of highest number of votes he will wins means if the people if the three candidates are competing on one election who will win in this ele- in among the three people three candidates the one who secures the highest number of votes who is the winner okay this is the first first the post post system okay uh, where we practice this system that is mla elections mp elections that is direct elections i can conclude that okay that is direct election we observe that is first first the system first first the post system type of election okay then what is proportional representation see here also the person who gets the is number of votes will win okay but counting the number of votes is completely a different 
completely different i'm not going to explain this uh, in detail because it is it was going to have a very lengthy video you can watch in the youtube okay you are also the person win or the person who got highest number of votes will win okay see i will but the counting of votes is different because this is the preferential form okay preferential type preferential type of election okay see so i will explain the i will explain the secret ballot meaning of secret ballot see who are, who elect the vice president that is mps okay mps they cast their vote using the ballot paper okay if like this this if i assume this as a ballot paper they vote okay like this by marking the uh, by marking before the uh, name of the candidate okay after this is the ballot paper after marking their preference they need to drop this ballot paper into the ballot box okay in the ballot box okay what it means see in electing the rajya sabha this is one another election that is rajya sabha election where in rajya sabha election the mls uh, because mls are uh, yeah, because rajya sabha mps are elected by the mls these mls after casting their vote the ballot paper they need to show this ballot paper to the party leader or a party whip i can say okay party whip after after showing this ballot paper to him then he drop the ballot paper to the ballot box see this is called open ballot open ballot but in case of vice presidential election the mps after casting their vote they directly go to the uh, directly go and drop their ballot um, drop their ballot paper into the ballot box they do not need to show to the party whip party leader okay, this is called secret ballot it means if the ballot paper is shown to the oh, party whip that is called open ballot if the party if the ballot paper shown to the party whip that is called open ballot okay where open ballot we practice we uh, practice that is in rajya sabha election okay where we practice the secret ballot that is presidential election and vice presidential election okay this is the thing i hope it is clear what is secret ballot uh, proportional representation you can watch we can watch in youtube okay see and another uh, point i would like to mention here that is after vice president elected means a candidate elected as a vice president he take he need to take a oath or affirmation who actually administer the oath that is president president administer the oath to the vice president okay or any person appointed by him means if any person appointed by a president to administer the oath to the vice president president or any person appointed by the president okay administer the this people's administer the vice president uh, administer the vote to the vice president okay this is the about the election of the vice president okay uh, let's summarize the thing see first one is the indirect election he is indirectly elected by the people because he is elected elected by the representatives of the people who are representatives of the people here that is mps of lok sabha mps of rajya sabha okay see and uh, proportional representation type of election and the ballot is secret ballot okay and vote is given by vote is administered by the vice president sorry president or any person appointed by the president and one more thing i need to uh, mention here that is the election is conducted by the election commission of india one thing and another one any election dispute any election dispute related to vice president is only only taken by the supreme court only address are only resolved by the supreme court not high court not any tribunal okay 
on the supreme court who conducts the election election commission of india and who clears the dispute related to the vice president that is supreme court okay